If you've left your house in the past weeks, you probably noticed that plants are starting to shoot out of the ground everywhere and trees are starting to carry out photosynthesis again. Spring is my favorite season of the year and because of that I wanted to create a forest scene and try to capture the beauty of nature. The first thing I did was add a cylinder and sculpt it to make it look like a tree. That model of course had way too much polygons to use and so I duplicated and remeshed it. For remeshing I used the Quadremesher Blender add-on which is a bit hard to get but it just gives so clean topology and I'll put the link in the description. Then I put that low poly model into Substance Painter and baked it. Then I could start with the texturing. I first put a dark brown color onto it and then added a bunch of grunge maps. One important thing I did was add height to the grunge maps. This makes it look a bit more 3D. Then I'd add a green color to it to create the moss. I'm not gonna go too deep into the texturing of the models because I already explained my process in the past videos which you can watch on my channel. Then when I was done I exported the textures and put them onto the model in Blender. The second thing I did was add a plane, subdivide it a bunch of times and use the proportional editing to make those tiny hills and raise it up at the back. Then I started to block out the scene with the trees that we already made. I also unwrapped and exported the ground plane and also put it into Substance Painter and gave it a moss material there. Now I needed the main object of the scene and the first thing I could think of was a mushroom. So just like for the trees I created a high poly mushroom model and then duplicated and remeshed it. Then again of course into Substance Painter, bake it and put some color onto it. For the white dots I'd also use a grunge map with those points and just made them white and surprisingly it actually looked pretty good. When I got that I placed the mushroom back into my scene. For that I used the rule of thirds to place it on the bottom right. Under composition guides you can activate those drives to help you with your composition. For the leaves I added a few big planes which I subdivided and selected random faces and deleted those. Then when I stacked them over each other it pretty much looked like leaves. For the background I simply added a plane and used the particle system to put the trees onto it. And for some fog I added two volume. Now it's just a matter of placing in more plants to make the scene look more alive. So I used the particle system to put the mushrooms around the trees and I created a small pine tree. For that I simply used the tree trunk of the big trees and scaled it down. Then in the weight paint tab I'd create a gradient and put the pine tree branches which I painted in Photoshop onto it. For the majority of the other plants I used the plants which I made in the stylized nature video which you can watch right here. Later I realized that all the mushrooms pull away the focus of the main mushrooms and so I created the second type of mushrooms which I just made grey. Then again just for more detail I added a rock and fallen over trees. Then I rendered the whole scene out and I thought it looked okay but I still was unhappy with the trees. And so I used a different technique for the branches of them. Instead of painting them in Photoshop and importing them as planes, I created a pine tree with the free sapling tree gen add-on. There I tweaked the settings a bit and added leaves. Then I converted it into a mesh and cut off the branch. I really like this type of branch because it's still stylized but more detailed than the painted version. So I just deleted the other version of the branch and put the new one onto the trees. Now to make the scene look more alive I want to add some movement to it. I added a few small light emitting spheres to create some fireflies. With the noise modifier in the animation panel I gave them a random path to fly. Then I just added a very subtle camera movement to the front and then after a few final tweaks I was finally ready to render. This render process actually took over 24 hours like 26 or 27 but at the end the shot was still flickering but after that amount of time I didn't want to render the whole thing out again. So for the very final step of the process I put the sequence into DaVinci Resolve and just gave it a bit of a vignette and did a bit of grading. One thing that I also did was add a bit of camera shake. And with that the scene was finally done. Thank you for watching and please leave some feedback in the comments. Bye.